Hey y'all, what's going on? Redneck Rough here, and welcome back today to Pokemon Heart Gold. Now, one thing I realized on my way back from the Pokemon Center is that I let Rocky back out of his Pokeball once he was healed. Just imagine being in the lobby of the Sprout Tower, and some guy comes walking in and following him bursting through the doorways at fucking giant rock snake, just breaking down the building. It's a wonder they haven't kicked me out already. Because Onyx is actually, like, really fucking huge, like... Actually, let's check the Pokedex and see just how freaking huge he is. Oh, shit. 28 foot and 10 inches. 463 pounds. It's wonder they even let me bring him upstairs. Damn. Damn. 28 fucking foot, though. Redneck found an X accuracy. Oh, God. Please be a ghastly. God damn it, I don't want the top percentage. Rocky. Strategy here. You don't want to do the strategy. I'm gonna take, take a red to go play on the planet there, dude. That sounds more like a... Like, Hank Hill... Like on, like doped up on whatever, morphine or something. Wow, one whole HP of damage. Definitely not top percentage Radita. Alright. That fucking battle music I love that they have. I sway like leaves in the wind. Sage Edmund. What kind of fucking name is Edmund? First they had Nico and Chow, but then there's fucking Edmund. Like, how do we know they're neighbors? My name's Edmund, I want to make a sage like you guys, eh? Rocky, no. You're not a pro footballer, you're not allowed to miss the tackles. If you go to level 8, I'll be happy. There you go. See? Now I'm happy. Go Hooters! Because they have no strategy. put these mofos to sleep. Another thing is, I'm still used to these graphics somewhat, because I just restarted a Let's Play on a Pokemon Platinum. Been doing that on my DS. So, graphics are nothing new right now to me. Didn't know the furnace is on. All that smoke gets blown everywhere. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what? What's going on? <sighs> yeah, just like Hutch, I vape. What's funny is if you actually go to his Twitch channel, uh, I can't remember what it is exactly, but I think it might just be Zoma oh God, it's Hutch, or it's just Hutch. But one of his chat commands is actually exclamation point vape. I'm missing so many tackles, it's like the freaking Super Bowl 50 all over again. There we go. Hooter's well on his way now. Oh, I am weak. But we are strong. I can't go past the statue, okay. Thought the gap there looked like I could.
do this shit. I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. I, I just gotta do the sage voice for all of them. I'm sorry, but I do. Oh shit. Oh shit, nigga. Rocky, he might die. Chomsky, you're going out. The only other move that I saw that Bellsprout actually learns is it learns uh, growth at level 7. So this thing only knows Vine Whip right now. So close. So close. Just a tiny little bit. That is move. It lights even the darkest of places. Sorry, I remembered it, but I didn't read it immediately, so I'm sorry for that. There we go. Get that going for me. I need to actually turn my headphones down a little bit. It's throwing me off. Now, in the comments, there's something I want you guys to tell me. I don't really know what it is. But if you can like tell me what this is, it'd be a good help. Right there, there's two Pokeballs that are shaking. Why is there two of them shaking? I don't get it. Like, are those ones that want a battle, or are those the two that are going to get experience? I don't know. Yay, level 9 for Hooters. Oh, thank God, now it's time to wreck their shit. It is time to wreck some shit. It is my head that is bright. No, you're not that bald. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the bag. And I'm gonna do that. Not until I'm right in front of him does he do it. Who's that with the red hair up there? Hmm, I wonder. You are challenged by Sage Choyo. You know, this tower, if they actually up the levels a bit, would actually make for a really good gem. Wait, no. I want to switch to Hutas. Alright, and time to peck your shit. See, that one knows growth. It's level 7. It knows something else. Too bad it's going to get a chance to use that raise a social attack at all. Hell yeah, we're learning in Hawk Rock Throw. Because we're getting ready to go up against a flying type gym. And you know what's super effective against flying? Rocks! I don't know why, but it is. Oh, and hey, we get a chance to test it out right now! I don't know what's up with this fucking like, peak in my hair right there or whatever. There, it looks a little better. 
rock throw. Oh my god. It's too late, for I have already won. He did. And I love that it's technically counted as a trade Pokemon, so it gets experience just a little faster. And we're gonna go to the bag again. And use one more right there. Alright, let's go do this shit. You showed us what you've got, and it is indeed good. Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. He calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokemon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon that can win every time. And no, I don't need to update virus protection. Shut the hell up, Windows. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. He used an escape rope and... Whoop, teleported his ass out of there. Now, another thing back in the olden days of Pokemon, the Elder used to stand right there in the middle, but you also couldn't see the pillar, it'd just be like a box right there, and that was it. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People in Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check your ties between you and your Pokemon. Yeah, we doing this. We doing this! Elderly. So I got my battle strategy all fucked up. Should have let off with Hooters. Oh well. I can take a hit. I'm a man. Also, if any vaping companies want to sponsor me, be more than welcome. Saber Vapors, Longhorn Vapor, or even Tesla, since I'm using your mod, I'm using the Arctic V8 tank. Any of those companies want to sponsor me, just hit me up. He's about to send in Hoot Hoots. Wait, shit. Hit the wrong button. Yeah, I'll split XP with you. Fuck it. Two level 10s going at it in the mud. Ba ba hoot hoo. Ba ba hoot hoo. I don't really know what I'm saying at this point anymore. Again, sleep deprivation is still getting to me. I was out till about 11 o'clock last night at the bowling alley. Then I get home and I stay up till about 4 a.m. playing. Uh, platinum on my DS, and then wake up at 10 a.m. to come up here and record. Now, how strong is this Bell Sprout? Say it's like level 13, please. I need the experience. Damn it! Excuse me. Normally, I burp right into the mic, but I'm not feeling it today. Plus, I was just a little tiny when it was almost like a hiccup. Who does level 10? Now I have a full level 10 team. Ah, excellent. We've got $1,200 winning, sent some to mommy. Hmm. The way you battle is quite elegant. You should be able to stand up to Faulkner. And you should be able to make good use of this. It is a technical machine called Flash. Take it with you. How many of the Flash TMs does he have? When a Pokemon learns Flash, you can illuminate caves no matter how dark they may be. 
You can try it on Bellsprout, for example. Redneck, howdy! It's Joey, how are you? Oh yeah, I saw a wild Pidgey. I thought about going for it, but then I failed. Oh well, I guess that's just the way it goes. I'm not very good at catching Pokemon. Our favorite top percentage trainer. I actually saw a hacked version of this game. Uh, I could have downloaded and played it instead. Everything would have been the same, except for when you go to battle the Pokemon League champion, instead of it being Lance, uh, it is actually Youngster Joey and just a full team of Raditas. And dear God, have I seen them wreck some shit. Like, there's another video I even saw where someone used a full Raditz team. It was a guy called Pimpanite on YouTube. Did a full Raditz team, and his sixth one called God Rat. Dear God, that thing is trolly as all hell. Did no substitute, mud slap, and a few other things, and dear God, it just fucked with him. Why am I not running? Also, why am I not ending the episode? It's already time for that. Well, next time we're going to battle Faulkner. See you then.